as a student, it's cool to be able to see faculty and staff on campus who are our mentors and are also being so incredibly innovative in their own fields and thinking about how to adapt things that have been happening in higher education for a long time. Uh, but in, in the context of how, you know, digital platforms um, are, are creating new opportunities for, for that work and, and um, thinking about how to best prepare students uh, for an engaging uh, academic and co-curricular college experience. And that's one of the cool things for me being at Oberlin is seeing people like Alexia, who are mentors to a lot of people on campus, really engaged in that work and invested in it in order to um, create these resources and, and, and kind of this long-term vision of, of higher education that ties together all these different mediums kind of around these values of accessibility and, and being forward thinking, um, and which ultimately are the values of social justice as we were talking about. And I think I want to add that you know, there are really four domains that I feel that the modern academic library has to play in. And you know, that includes scholarly, curatorial, public, and then also this kind of interesting nexus around you know, archival and pedagogical. And so for me, Lever really touches on that in a very dynamic way. I am really, you know, my hopes and dreams for Lever is that you know, we can continue to just push the lever <laughs> and really continue to do some really wonderful and dynamic things, um, particularly in a time of financial constriction. Mm -hmm. And you know, all of us and, and libraries, I think, feel this most profoundly. We tend to be one of the first places that our institution's leadership will come to, you know, to say, can you trim, can you cut? And so while all of my colleagues across the country, you know, have been and will continue to do that very difficult and hard work, you know, this really shows the value of the ways in which libraries can really sit at the nexus of all of this dynamicism in terms of these four intersections, which I think is going to just continue to grow and blossom. So I'm really thrilled that we're a part of it. <laughs>